Well, I have a nice chunk of dry ice here. Probably about, uh, I would say, three or four pounds left over from a food storage project I've been working on this weekend. And I noticed about 10 years ago when I was doing another food storage project and I used the uh, CO2, the dry ice, for packing the uh, dry goods to keep bugs from getting in and wrecking it. That, uh, when I had a little bit of uh, dry ice left over, I put a small chunk of it in a glass of beer that I was having and it uh, fizzed all over the place. It was kind of cool. So now I've got a nice big chunk of it. I'm going to drop it in this uh, wheelbarrow full of water here and see what happens. And uh, here's what it says on the, uh, on the package around the dry ice. <clears throat> Danger extremely cold. Minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm thinking that's got to be right up there at the penguins. And uh, that would be minus 78 degrees Celsius for the uh, communists among you. Just kidding. Uh, avoid contact with skin and eyes. Use gloves and safety glasses. Blah, blah, blah. Use and well ventilated. Anyway, may cause rapid suffocation. Contact with skin may cause burns. And uh, all you've got to do is just touch the stuff just for a tiny bit of a second and uh, you, you can uh, really feel it burning. So, we're going to throw it in to the uh, wheelbarrow and have some fun. Let's just zoom in a bit. How about right there? There we go, there's our block of dry ice. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious if it'll freeze the water. Look at these cool looking gas bubbles right here. Oh, this is cool too, watch this. That's just because the hammer is uh, so much hotter than the uh, block of ice, even though it's just a room temperature that it makes it start vaporizing right away. That's the sound of the gas uh, basically coming out from behind the hammer. There we go. Is that cool or what? I'm sure most of you are all already aware of this, <clears throat> but that uh, smoggy, foggy looking gas you see coming out of the dry ice is actually the same stuff that you breathe out every time you exhale. It's just CO2. It comes out of your lungs. Man, that is so cool. And the reason it stays in the wheelbarrow until the wind comes along and blows it out is because CO2, carbon dioxide, is actually heavier than the uh, surrounding air. So it tries to stay in the wheelbarrow, same way that water stays in the wheelbarrow. 
That's why uh, when the wind uh, slows down a bit, you can actually see it kind of going back and forth, almost like in little waves. There you go, there's a close up look at it. Just looks like a chunk of ice. It's actually frozen carbon dioxide. And it doesn't melt, it evaporates. This looks so cool. Is that cool or what? That's not dry ice, that's just regular water ice from the uh, dry ice all fizzing around in there. Alright folks, show's over. <laughs>